Hey everyone, it's me, Vic. So, I know in another video I showed you a little clip of something that I wasn't quite ready to show you, but now I am. So with that, we're gonna get started here. We're gonna talk about Discord, and we're gonna talk about some of these amazing plugins in the Stream Deck store. So what I'm gonna do is actually minimize my Discord in it, and I am gonna actually tap on my Discord profile, right? So you probably won't see this here, but I'm gonna show you how to set it up anyway. This, it's a really cool feature. What I'm going to do is actually create a switch. But before I do all that, I still need to actually configure it a few times, right? So let's go ahead and get started here. All right. So one thing I wanted to do is a convenience between switching with a voice changer microphone via voice mod or my microphone effects in Discord without having to go in to here and manually click stuff, right? Because that, that can be really, really annoying. But I wanted the ease of a toggle button, right? And what, what better way than doing a multi action? So I wanted to make this convenient for those who like to switch between microphones like myself. All right, so as soon as I click the Discord plugin, right here. All right, so. Right one, here we go. All right, so I saw this thing where it was a new feature where it says set audio device. And I didn't know that you could change the input, the output, or both. So I selected both. And what I do is I switch between my microphone effects and I always wanted to go to voice chat. So I'm gonna call this one wave because that's my wave XLR. I'm gonna copy it. And I'm actually going to change this. Let's change the name first. I'm going to call this one voice. And everything else is pretty much configured with the exception of my voice mod microphone. So what I'm going to do is look for voice mod right here. All right, so voice mod is not activated. That's why it is not highlighted. But my wave is. So I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to put this one in number one. I'm going to copy this one and I am going to put this in number two. Now, if you prefer to manually switch them right here so you can see which one is on, which one is off, you can do that. Or you can do what I do and just toggle them. I prefer a toggle, it's much easier. So I'm going to show you how this works. It's going to switch. And as we push the button, so you're going to notice that it's switching. Now, the reason why you see me talking, whether it, it's through one microphone, the Wave DX and uh, my Wave XLR combo, and the reason why it's showing me talking into either of these two is because of the way I've configured voice mod. And there is another video. Um, I'm probably making an update to that video because I forgot one extra step in there. And uh, well, we'll talk about that another time. But I wanted to show you the ease of creating a toggle so that way you could switch between doing a voice changer at your own leisure and then going back to your preferred Elgato microphone effects. Or at least for me, I prefer to use that one. Anyways, thanks for watching everyone.